Hello, I'm Henning from Make It, and today I will be going through the most common problems uh, related to getting the Airbit to fly. So, uh, if you have trouble getting the Airbit to lift off, uh, this is the video for you. So, I connect my uh, transmitter, power up that one, and I have connected the battery to the Airbit, and I switch it on here. And now we see we have power on both micro bits. So now what's supposed to happen is when I press A and B at the same time, supposed to propellers supposed to start. So I need to press A and B at the same time and uh, the top left uh, arm light will come on. And now it's off now. So the drone is supposed to start now, but it doesn't. So let's try to find the problem. The first thing I want to check is that um, if there is a connection between the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, this bubble in the middle here, this dot, is moving um, with the uh, X and Y um, uh, roll and pitch rotation, uh, as you probably already coded. And this dot in the middle here is supposed to move with it, and if it doesn't, it means that it doesn't have a radio connection. So uh, we need to make sure they are on the same radio channel. So um, how do you know which radio channel you're on? Well, you press the reset button on the back here. Okay. And watch the number on the screen. It said number five. And with the drone, I can just um, switch the power off and on again. And it says the number seven. So they are not on the same radio channel right now. So what I need to do is to update the code for my transmitter. So let's connect uh, the micro bit to uh, make code. Connecting the USB. And I will be going to my code. Here is my transmitter code that I uh, <coughs> just made. And and the on start here is your radio channel, right? So we will change this to the same channel as your receiver. And here is uh, channel 7. And I will be downloading it. So um, now we can restart again. And we see now it's 7. So let's see what happened to the, uh, to the pixel here. So now I'm moving the transmitter to the sides and the dot here is following along. So now I know that I actually have a steady uh, connection. So let's try to arm it uh, again. I can uh, disconnect the USB now. A and B. And nothing happens, but you see here that this top left light is blinking. It means that this uh, micro bit is now trying to arm and start the drone. Um, now, uh, what you should look for is actually a little uh, orange blinking light under here. If there is a light blinking under here, it means that uh, this control board is not receiving a proper signal from the micro bit. It's not getting the right signal that it needs. And um, um, this is usually due to a common problem, and that is the, uh, those uh, brass uh, uh, nets under here that is supposed to conduct electricity and signals. Uh, these screws need to be very tight um, in order to communicate with the micro bit. So what I will do is I will try to tighten those screws. So I'll just turn the power off first. Uh, then I will just uh, try to tighten this with, uh, with a pipe wrench. Like the one that uh, we have here that is 3D printed. So just tighten them like, not like uh, super hard, but uh, a little bit tight. Okay, and then switch the power on again. 
and just now let it um, let it uh, sit still for a little while because it needs to uh, calibrate the um, accelerometer and gyro sensor. And now let's see here, is there any blinking orange light? No. Uh, so now we can try to start it up again. And it started. And now uh, you might notice that this propeller didn't spin and this is because it was touching the uh, propeller protection here. So in that case you just need to wiggle a little bit so it uh, gets free. And we can try to start it again. And now all the propellers are spinning. If you did all this and you still uh, can't start uh, the drone and the orange light is still blinking, uh, you uh, might want to uh, tighten the barrel nuts from underneath. So uh, then we need to remove the top nuts and the bottom nuts. So let's just do that. I will switch off first. So we need to make sure that these are not wiggly at all. We need to be very tight and steady. So if they are a little bit wiggly, like a loose tooth or something, um, we need to remove the board. Like that. Then we take a Phillips screwdriver and we make sure that they are really tightened here. This is a very common problem. So I recommend you to always keep a good eye on those because those are usually the source of the problem for the drone to not to, to start. So uh, we tighten them and then put the nuts back on here. They don't need to be too tight under here. They're just to secure the board. The board will not fall off if they are too loose here. And then the top. This is what we call finger tight. Uh, they are like you 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 feel to 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 feel uh, you start to feel a certain resistance here, but you don't uh, tighten them with all your force, but with some of your you know fingertip force, maybe like that. Yeah. So that's right. Switch on, and we are watching the orange light here to stop blinking. It blinks in the start, but then it stops. Okay. So uh, let's try to start it again. And it's okay. If your drone starts but it doesn't fly as the way you want, uh, there can be a few things you need to check. So let's go through those. Uh, first, you need to check that you have the right uh, type of motor on the right place. Uh, top left, it's uh, supposed to be a red and blue motor. And then on the top right, uh, you will have a black and white motor. And here, again, there's a red and blue uh, because they are opposite. And top uh, le bottom left, you also need to have a black and white motor. And they need to be connected to the closest uh, port, all of them. Then you need to check that you have the right kind of propeller. This propeller will spin this way, as the arrow up here shows. And it means that you need to have a clockwise propeller. And you can even, you can even blow on, on them like this. And you will see that uh, it's spinning. Uh, the proper way and if it's not spinning the the proper way you need to 
um, remove the propeller and set, put on a, a right propeller. Uh, so this is supposed to be a uh, clock uh, 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 clockwise propeller. It has a little writing on top that it says clockwise uh, CV. This is opposite, so this is saying CCV. It's going to spin this way, and then here you have a CV again, and then a CCV counterclockwise again. When you are removing propellers, um, don't uh, don't bend the blades like this. You have to uh, remove them from the core here. Either you could just use your fingertips and squeeze them out like this. And if that's too hard, uh, I recommend actually using a set of uh, pliers like this. And you just you don't you don't pinch too hard. Don't like don't cut the uh, the pin here, but just like ca like uh, carefully uh, closing the pliers and then then just flip them off like that. One last thing that is very important to say is how to prevent damage on your drone. Uh, because uh, when you fly it, and if you uh, fly it from in a high, high altitude and you lose control and you crash, uh, if you land like upside down or uh, on a very hard surface, you could actually damage the motors. So to prevent uh, that damage, there are two things you need to consider. The first is your floor surface. I recommend you flying over carpets or grass or something uh, soft because that will dampen the crash a lot. And the other things to, to remember is try to don't fly too high. Uh, if you're unexperienced at flying, try to fly uh, low, like less than two meters. And you can actually limit yourself by just flying in a room with a low ceiling. Uh, so don't go to a place where there is a very high several meters uh, ceiling because uh, the drone can easily uh, ascend upwards and then you lose control and it crashes from five meters. It's a lot worse than crashing from one meter or two meters, of course. Uh, so uh, soft surface and low ceiling is your biggest uh, friends uh, in terms of uh, limiting crash and damage. So um, if you have any other problems with your Airbit, uh, feel free to contact us at uh, support at makeit.no or at our Facebook page. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and good luck and have fun with your Airbit.